What is... Actually, my Uncle Vernon once hit an eagle. Really? Yeah, I thought that was a bad sign. Killed a bald eagle. He was driving on the road. Smacked right in the windshield. <laughs> Robin, just Robin says, I like crows. You can teach them to talk. Yeah, my dad said he had a talking crow when he was a kid. They're like parrots. You can teach them words, which is amazing. <laughs> and then my Uncle Vernon... And Aunt, Tom, Aunt Ta Tammy uh, had a crow for a couple of summers there. It was a wild crow that, that just sort of domesticated by feeding him. This is the kind of family I grew up in. But then, people wouldn't want to go up to their house because every time you go up there, there'd be this crow would want to... Well, this crow would come and land on their shoulder and stuff and you could feed him. And he left for the winter and the next win year he came back. And he loved Vernon Tammy, and they'd feed him and stuff. But for the rest of us, it was just a wild bird trying to land on our heads. Like, get that thing out of here. <laughs> it creeped me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Evils is back. Boujou, Dr. Evils. How are you? I've always wanted to crow, says Zagame. I had an auntie who used to uh, have birds. And <laughs> they live forever. And I remember she was always trying to get rid of them. <laughs> She'd be like, hey, do, do you want a bird? You can have this one here. I'll give you the, the cake. I mean, she had like three of them. And it was always loud in her house. You know? Once it got away, it was like a parrot or something, I think. These domesticated birds in her house. Yeah, pets are weird. It can be just about anything. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. So, that was my story, and I'm sticking to it, sweetie. Yeah. Uh, did you want to get up here and say hello to the crew? Sure. I'm going to let Natasha get up here and ikadon bonjour and say hello. <laughs> but first, here's a message from... Oh, here's another thing about honesty. Honesty in uh, Seven Anishinaabe Values is represented by Bigfoot. Sabay. Up next, uh, Natasha will be up after these messages from Sabe Miigwech. Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like to support the show, if you would like to support Bujo, Nana Bujo, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture, you can click in the links below. You can click the link to Patreon, to PayPal, to GoFundMe. And you can order Ojibwe language books by Michael Lyons by clicking the link to Amazon.com. But only if you believe, if you believe in Amazon.com. Many people say they've seen Amazon.com out here. They say, oh, I've seen the footprints of Amazon.com. <laughs> I do not know. I do not know. I'm not, I'm not really into conspiracy theories. You know, I think if it were real, the mainstream media would tell us. That's what they do. That's their job. Who am I? I am Sabe. I am Sasquatch. I am Bigfoot. Goyakwa Diziwin. I am known for honesty and integrity. <laughs> no, I don't know. Anyway, if you'd like to support the show, why don't you support the show already? You can click the link below. And now, miigwech, miigwech, miigwech. I tell you thank you three times. That means I really mean it. <laughs> Sabe. Sunny day. La, 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 la. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Natasha, the condition of cause. And his cheese looking pun. Keisha good. It's a really snowy day. <laughs> Sometimes chi, as in gitchi, they all say, oh, it means great. Chi mukaman. The great knife. But I, I like to think of chi meaning really. Oh, it's really snowy. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? I think that might be a Minnesota thing too, huh? The word really? Just using the word really all the time. Oh, I really like that guy. Oh, I really love you. Oh, it's really snowing outside. <laughs> but what are we talking about today? We're talking about Thursday. And we were talking about Gwayakwa Dizzy Wind. Honesty. And bravery. Is there a song with bravery in it? Um, there's got to be. Some say love, not lucky, for the lucky and the strong. Just remember, in the winter, far beneath the bitter snow. La -da -da. Na -na -na -na. In Ojibwe, Ondeg means crow. When the night. <laughs> How over the top is that song? Yeah, I know. When the night has been too lonely. Oh, <laughs> 